their research paper. So hopefully we can finish no both discussions man on Friday and Karun contents of the learning area one which includes the three activities man duha pa kung na upload and then hopefully by next week um on Tuesday I will be able to have a write shop na so we can extend man kay three to four write shops with guru ta every Tuesday jud na siya no kay dili man siguro maayo mag write shop og og Friday nga um lunch thing lunch time na ano one hour jud tong makaya ano Friday so we can have our write shop already on on Tuesday kay actually your chapter two includes not just your review of related literature it also includes your conceptual framework and theoretical framework so tulo na siya ka parts no ko lang pakita sa inyo ha para mas makuan pa should Wait, well, anyway, since ubay ubay naman ta, let us pray first. Wait lang ha. Okay naman to man. Pray sa ta class ha, kadali lang. Okay. Name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Prayer Petition to Saint Rita O powerful Saint Rita, rightly called Saint of the Impossible, I come to you with confidence in my great need. You know well my trials. Free yourself for many times burdened in this life. Come to my help. Seek, uh, speak for me. Pray with me. Intercede on my behalf before the Father. I know that God has a most generous heart and that he is a most loving father. Join your prayers to mine and obtain for me the grace that I desire. You who were so very pleasing to God on earth and are so much more now in heaven, I promise to use this favor when granted to better my life, to proclaim God's mercy and make you more widely known and loved. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, so good afternoon, everyone. Happy New Year. So welcome to the second semester. Um, as expected, no, what what we usually do in research is more po dito ang buhat and put uh, research pag first sem. It's more po dito yung continue sa second sem. Only lang nga mas ubay ubay lang yun ang right shops less katung PowerPoint no nga na discussion. Um. Na ay may parts nga mo insert ko og katong mga learning guides no katong gi-upload ako sa Quipper ako na siyang i-discuss ginagmay and then once we are done we're going to proceed with the right shop if i feel that some of the learning guides there are redundant na to my right shop then ako ana lang na siyang itingub no so depende na ako nang basahon ang mga learning guides presented by Quipper kasi Quipper man gihimo atong mga learning guides no if i feel na the contents of the learning guides are redundant na na pwede ra man ako siya iusa sa ko ang right shop Buditso na lang tag right shop. So karon wala ta ka dito og right shop this afternoon. It is because um when I read the the three uh, learning guides kato jung tulo no. Uh three learning guides under learning area 1 which is review of related literature. Mo na ang chapter 2 ninyo no. That is what comes after chapter 1. So in your review of related literature I saw there sa katong learning guide di hatag ni Quipper nga naa siya mga additional information which can be useful to you. No? Such as, karo no, katong uh, bullion um, na operator, no? I, I don't really, really use that kind of kung when I search sa search engine kay naaramantanan ako ang mga kinahangla nun. Pero if you feel nga it's really difficult to find uh, related literature or resources from Google Scholar, you can make use of katong mga bullion nga koan nga techniques no, such as putting asterisk putting quotation marks parentheses using and or or um not no or using koan using the plus sign um gamay ra kay na siya nga mga signs sa bullion class no pero it could make a very big difference in searching for keywords searching for sources kay mas daghan ang ma hatag nga results niya if you're going to make use of that no kay 
sa ko ang aporto wala naman kay daghan man og mga sources akong makit an related to events tourism pero kung sa inyo ha labi na no na yung mga terminologies dira or kanang keywords in your title no or in your research nga we're in gamayra ang ihatag ni Google Scholar nga results and then you feel like you're very helpless na no kay kung sino yung basag gamayra man siya po nung uyo dili kay niya ma-elaborate so you can make use of the boolean um technique nga naa sa ato ang Quipper Learning Guide 1. Then sa Learning Guide 2, which I will discuss on Friday, includes different formats in citations and in making the reference list. Na kung gitudlo ninyo last semester is APA lang. So karon tudluan po tamo, kung saan nakalian niya sa MLA o Chicago. No, kay APA man siya ang record sa, re sa research paper class. No? Pero pwede man taka-add o kung at least additional knowledge on your part, no? Kay, again, to each his own, to each his own, no? Or in, in each school, they have different way of um, format, no? Lahi man ang format sa taning askwilahan, lahi man ang format sa pikas ng askwilahan. Although, APA format is the generally accepted format for citations, but there are other schools who are still traditional, who will still opt for MLA or Chicago. So, in case you will encounter a school that has that kind of format, kinsa man po ta para mo, kung ano, para mo supak po sa format sa obang skwilahan. Or at least na lang may prior knowledge ba sa different citations. Okay? Actually, class in technical writing, such as in research, Nagandiyo kayo siya mga guidelines nga need ni mo i-follow. Again, technical writing, no? So, very technical siya kaayo siya. Daghag mga um, formats, daghag mga rules to follow, no? Okay? So, I'm just going to make that easy for you. So, ito lang hinay hinayon So, that when we have our write shop on Tuesday next week, okay, so at least, na na may mga additional knowledge. Okay? And then, I'll give you a task but after my discussion this afternoon. Okay, this involves looking for sources. So, sa kaman sa ko klase, dapat dihukon din ninyo nga mangita din mong mga sources sa Google Scholar para anam-anam din mong compile. Kay mo ni ang pinakadugay-dugay should mahuman si Chapter 2. Tuluran na sila ha, tuluran na si chap Chapter 2 ang contents niya class. Lahi sa Chapter 1 nga daghan no, na patay introduction. Na apatay statement of the problem, definition of terms. No, daghan ka ayo tag mga contents ni chapter 1. Si chapter 2, review of related literature, tulura dyan na. Review of related literature, katong contents. Similar to how you arrange your definition of terms, you arrange them thematically. And then, once you already have, you know, a collection, a plethora of different, um, Related literature from different authors na napod tay um, ginatawag nga uh, theoretical framework that comes after review related literature. Si theoretical framework class is you would get a theory, no? Like for example, ABM ka, ang um, ang study is aligned to the management theory, di ba? So, kung ni mo ang management theory, and then, imuna siyang i-attach yung research. And then, that will serve as a backbone in your study. Okay, for you to picture that out, matter akong example in the future na to nga, nga right shop next week. And then, ang pinaka-last, after sa theoretical framework, okay, is your conceptual framework or schematic diagram. And we're going to make use of the IPO framework, no? Input, process, output. So, IPO. Okay. So, sa IPO framework class, ko ay na siya, kanang, makita ni mo dira sa conceptual, or schematic diagram, that's what we call it, is the flow of your research process. Okay, para mas masabtan, but should not know what I'm talking about, no, the three parts of your chapter 2. Let me just show to you a sample. Okay. Lang ha. Okay. 
Aba, mana naman ta ning chapter 1 no. Alam mo mind hang ano, walay chapter 2 na to nga ani kaysa you know man god, ang chapter 1 na mo hangtod methodology. So taas kay mo chapter 1 dito. So ako la, la, na ko gi-follow ang you know or ng form. Although ang format ang pagplaster is the same sa you know, pero ang ang numbering sa chapter 1 ako gisuon kay kung Sunod na ko sa yun, or kapuyan mo, kanaganing, naabot na lang mo og methodology, chapter 1 ra Japan ang tawag niya, no? so kapoy kaayo. So, we only have three chapters, actually, sa, sa mong thesis. Pero, pariha sa siya content sa ato apod nga format tri sa Santa Rita. Kalian lang pag numbering lang sa chapter. O sa ato, ah, ang chapter 1 na ito, kuto version siya sa definition of terms. Putol din na siya dira. Dayon, chapter 2 na ang review of related literature. So, ang review of related literature class, muna first part sa chapter 2 ninyo, ayun yung isumpay, ayun yung isun, aha, yung wala kong lain ng format. Okay, so, ang, I mean, ang pag, pagpasunod ba nga, isumpay, ayun yung isumpay. Okay, chapter 2 din siya dapat. So, assuming chapter 2, dilis ba ba, no? Sa chapter 2, di ba natitulo, review of related literature, uh, theoretical framework or conceptual framework. Ang first part, review of related literature, contains okay, different sources from different authors um, based on um, you know, the variables in your statement of the problem. If you can remember, diba, your definition of terms are patterned or are arranged thematically. No, according to how your statement of the problem was arranged, di ba? So, yun na po na pag-arrange na to sa to ang um, um, related literature. I will not go into the details na because I will just save this one in our write shop, no? Sa Tuesday next week. So, kompleto na siya. It's a collection of different sources from different authors and these are arranged thematically, just similar to how you arrange your definition of terms. And uh, the purpose of having a review of related literature is that this further supports your argument or let's say, ang imuhang ka ng, kasi mong gusto i-present sa imuhang study. Like, if I'm going to study about the potential of San Carlos City using attractions, amenities, on the five A's of tourism, why, um, how will I convince you nga ang 5 A's of Tourism Drill ang perfect nga basis to assess the potential of our city as an events tourism? So, of course, mukuha ko anag mga, ko ano, mga discussions from different authors or for example, nga no, kinahanglan man ako i-measure ang challenges and opportunities sa San Carlos City as an events tourism destination diri sa kong study. Well, because kay tungod gi-discuss mong pud sa study sa lain nga author, nga muoni siya ang you know nga challenges in my tourism opportunities niya no very similar to how you write introduction ba nga sa global regional perspective so kani siya according to theme ra ni siya according to the variables that you present in your study for more details ana sa right shop na lang ako i-elaborate further no tag sa tag sa how you will write so on pag plaster basta it's just a collection of you know different resources Dayon, imor na siyang i-compile to further support your study. Ay na po ta sa theoretical framework. The theoretical framework is diretso na siya musumpay class sa inyuhang um, review-related literature. The only difference lang is in our review-related literature, as much as possible, we require you to have recent sources. Diba, nagsulti ko ninyo sa introduction nga. Ayaw ko ninyo tagaay og mga 1990s, ayaw ko ninyo taga tagaay og ka ng mga mga ko ano mga 1995 2000 no kay that's very outdated information similar po na sa to ang review of related literature sa babaw no kani siya dito sa babaw nga we're in as much as possible recent data no recent sources sky information can vary from time to time di ba so mo na dira no ang sa theoretical framework class lahi no Masking karaan pa na siya, ito yung butang parts ni Kay Butler no nga, sa 1997 na niya siya, 1990. It is still accepted because these are not citations, these are not secondary sources. Kani secondary sources na ni because you're citing from a secondary author and the authors here are also citing from other authors. Kani siya, this is primary jud siya nga information nga imo siyang gisite sa imong study. 
And unsa ang purpose ni theoretical framework? Your theoretical framework provides a basis or a backbone sa yung study wherein diri nga framework na ko ma'am gibase ang ako ang study. Basta kay na ay nag-email. So nag-support siya og theory sa research study. Ang katong kan ni class sa babaw. These are not theories. These are not ko ano like assumptions or or uh this is not a theory that explains no the the research problem or the study exists no uh these are just koan kung atong ibutang pa mga research findings sa uban nga researchers based sa ilahang study and then imo ra po siyang gisite uban gani ani class nagsite ra pud kani siya nga author sa uban nga author pud nga work no mag continuous ra siya ba kani siya theory jud ni siya no nga we're in, dira inyo gi-base ang inyong study, dira inyo gi-anchor, mara siya backbone sa inyong study. So, for example, no, um, akong study is, is in line with the improved tourism development theory of Richard Butler. This is not just a research study, uh, this, this is not just a research study, ha, but a theory, dira siya. Usually, sa theoretical framework, theory sa to ang kwaon. So, this is a theory developed, made, jud, primarily by Richard Butler in 1997. So, para niya, for a, a city or for a place to develop, kinahanglan siya og mga following ng mga elements. Kinahanglan siya og transportation, kinahanglan siya og resort, visitor visitor behavior, attitudes, um, daghan og elements kinahanglan nun for a city to become a tourism development. At, uh, for a city to become... Oh, sorry, for a city to be developed as a tourism destination. Which is, mupod na siya ang ako ang study, di ba? Gusto ko nga i-develop po ang San Carlos City into a tourism destination, specifically in line with events. No, pars anang sa ilo-ilo nga, gamanin siya mga dagko nga mga events class, like competitions, um, um, for example, expos, no, conventions. So, mga yung anak ba? Okay, so, theory siya. So, accepted balag mga 1990, 1997 na siya, 1980s. Basta, kaninga theory, if this theory still exists today, and ginagamit siya po na siya karun, pwede siya sa theoretical framework. So, again, ang katong collection nito sa review of related literature sa babaw before the theoretical framework are just a collection of, you know, mga research studies, mga theses, mga thesis, dahil na siya na, a thesis, mga, kung ano, mga research findings, not made as a theory, you know, but research findings, kikan po sila hang uh, thesis, di ba? No, sila hang graduate thesis, or for example, sa ila hang research work. Kani siya, theory, you know, siya, no, theory developed by um, someone, you no know, that is still used until today. Okay. Yeah, mo ni siya ang murag dira na to gi-base nga to ang study. Usually gani una gani dapat sulaton ang theoretical framework kay that is where we go from there. Kani kay murag na by chapter mangu taga sulat gud. So mo na sa theoretical framework ninyo class. I will just teach you how to write this one in our write shop no more na murag gamay nga background ba. And lastly, the third part in your chapter 2, di ba? Mo to ikaduha nga part ang theoretical framework. The third part in your chapter 2 is the conceptual framework. So the conceptual framework class includes an explanation of the schematic diagram and the schem schematic diagram itself. So una sa ko sa schematic diagram before ka, ka, ka provide explanation. No? So what is the schematic diagram in your conceptual framework? The schematic diagram in your conceptual framework provides an illustration on the flow of your research process. So, ay po akong gigamit di rin, no? Input, process, dayon output. Input, gita, ni niya. Input, dayon process. Wala di rin, ang research ko, and dayon output. Okay. So, mo na siya. Um, Tudulang na po ito mo, ang saan pag-develop, ani, ito. Simple naman ang elements. So, nakuha ni mo dira. Respondents ni mo. 
correspondence, imuhang variables, tayo yun ang output. Nasa yung output, di ba? Naman to sa third question, yung statement of the problem, which is proposed development plan or proposed intervention program. So, muna yung butang as output. So, you're, if you have already like made your schematic diagram for your conceptual framework, you're going to explain or provide an explanation. Sobraan. Provide an explanation. Right? Explain na niyo mo. na sa schematic diagram sa ubus. Or na. So, tulura ka contents ang ato ang RRL. Pero it takes time, Japan. Masking tulura na kabuok class, it takes time because you're pinakauna, no? Dali naman ni ang conceptual framework. Pero ang pinakauna siya ng RRL. Kasi mo na ako pinakadugay, pinaka pet peeve siya na ako ng RRL class. Kay, kapoy kay pangitag mga resources. Kay, do not give us taglima na kabuk resources. No. Usually, gani, I'm asking for at least 10. 10 na na ang pinaka minimum. Kay, kung sa gani mo glima, di na enough ang lima class. So, kapoy ka ay, madunan mo, kayo naman ko sa una, maingon dyan na mo ang among panelist nga. Duhar lagi ka author si mong gisite under ani nga sub, sub variable. Like for example, amenities is a sub-variable sub sa kung study. Duhara ko author imong gisite diri pun ipagtulo. O dapat lima ka author kada sub-variable. Diba? So kapoy ka ayo to ato nga time. So pet peeve yun ako. Ano sa una when I was doing my paper class. Kay kapoy yun siya. So unahon sa yun nato ni. Kaning sa babaw. Dali naman ni conceptual framework. Ang theoretical framework. Masking usa ka theory, okay na. Sa theoretical framework. No? O sarang yun ako theory. O sarang ka theory akong gigamit diri no? Uh, tourism Development Theory by Richard Butler. Pero dirijud mo madugayan sa RRL. Mona. Mona siya. Mona, ang, pina, Mona, ang pinakao na siya itong i-discuss class is review-related literature and how to find sources. No? Mona itong i-discuss karong hapon. Kay para at least samtang no, makabalo na mo nga. Ah, pwede ka gamit o... Borelian nga technique. So, at least, pag sugod na hinay-hinay o pangita. Nya, wala na ni excuse inyo hang mga groupmates nga walay buhaton. Kay, dapat kamutanan magtinabangay sa kadaghan nga mga authors and and our sources nga yung pangitaon to compile in your review of related literature. You need everyone to help and provide effort as well. No? Um, kami naman ko sa una, dali na kayo na human ako ang 4th year BSTM, no? Karun, mag-chapter 4 na sila. Kay, katinabangay sila, opatra sila ha, babay, poros, o niya. Napas sila yung mga klase until evening. Niya, lahi na among klase sa college, kay straight na whole day. So, good me eight to kuan, twice a week pa dyan may mag-meet. Twice, uh, twice a week may mag-meet din. Whole day dyan na siya. So, ang ginabuhat nila is tinabangay sila, no? Na iuban, mangitag mga different resources. I-compile na ni leader. Inyan lang pili on asa diri ang magamit for the review of related literature. So, magtinabangay na mo, ani class, no? Kay daghan kay mo mga basahon nun. Unya, pangita unun po nga sources to compile for your review of related literature. Okay? So, nakasabot ra ang tanan. Hello. Kasabot ra ang tanan. 30 minutes na lang. Po kasugod sa activity guide. Nakasabot ra or na overwhelm po. Hello. Asa naman ang mga people diri? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Nagan siya kaya taog mga buhaton ron, no? So, if you're going to go back to your paper, no? Diba na-upload na nato ang Activity 3 under Learning Area. Learning Area 3 siya. Gipangalan din rin na per Learning Area 1. Akong gilabel dito kay. Hindi mo ito magsugod o 1 and 2, no? Diso dito ang bakay. Diri naman ta. Uman naman ta itong Chapter 1. So, um, in this, this is more on, you know, Finding sources for your RRL and ang inyong mga skills nga ma-combine diri is not just from research only but akil na diri ang media literacy, information literacy, and information and communications technology literacy. Okay? Wait lang, Ruth.
Okay, so the review of related literature is an integral part of the research paper. It is synthesized discussion of related studies on the topic that will help you refine your research problem, identify relevant theories and methodologies, and provide conceptual and operational definitions. So, of course, before man mo makakaccomplish ay yung hang review related literature, dapat na ay na may background of the research problem, which is of course you already have yung kato introduction, research questions, o yung statement of the problem. Wala pa may conceptual framework. A hypothesis is saved right after that you have already made your questionnaire. Dira pa na maassess ni statistician if you can have an hypothesis statement. So, as of now, what is the requirement of the RRL is only your chapter one. No, malalajud na siya. Kaya yung ano kinahanglan nga naana tay statement of the problem. Again, just like what we did sa definition of terms, dira na to a pattern ang ato ang pagplaster sa RRL. So, how do we ensure that our RRL and our second RRL, ako tawag ha, kay, kay lengthy kayo isulti ang review of related literature. So, your RRL um, requires, you know, sources from credible sources. So, resources from credib credible sources. So, since you do not have the luxury of of having access to the library, you know, most especially that we have increasing na nga, rate for COVID-19 nga na positive, no? You can make use of online sources and it's very convenient because at the comforts of your own home, you can be able to read different resources from Google Scholar and Library Genesis. So, you can even make use of um, e-library, you know, Philippine e-library para daghan pa dito kay kag mga kuan dira, no? Makuha nga mga resources online. So, mga, na mga online databases at you, that you can download for free, such as in Library Genesis. There are also databases wherein, oh, and also Sci-Hub, no? Databases that can help you access, you know, documents that cannot be accessed at all. And you already know that during my last discussion, katong pag last semester, di ba? So, if na mga documents or mga journal articles nga dili ni mo ma-access, you can immediately go to Library Genesis to look for the document that you want to look for. Or you can be use of um, Sci-Hub. No? Kuwari ka link ikan sa Google Scholar paste ra sa Sci-Hub. So, libraries make use of card catalogs. No? And um, if you're going to go to an online library class, they also have catalogs there. Ang nakalian lang class no kay ang library catalogs na to sa traditional na to nga face-to-face -face library is na po yung mga drawers, pang okay yun, di ba? And then naka-arrange siya, kanin siya according to author, uh, name sa author, kan siya according to the name of the book, no? Um, and then, usually you make use of catalogs to easily locate no the books that you're trying to find labi na if ka na nga library medyo dako dako jud siya di ba um pero um in online libraries no naapod sila yung mga ko na pud sila yung mga e-catalog so actually dali na lang na siya no kay parehas ani nakita ninyo sa picture class nga you can just search any field like, for example you forgot the name of the title of the article that you're going to find you're just going to click on the author. Or for example, um, gusto ka ko an, no? Um, ang abstract lang niya, no? The, the front part. Abstract is just a, a short summary of the content of this article. Then you want to ibutang dira. Pili ni mo na siya, then you click. Then mo pili ka asa dira dapit ni mo kwaon, no? Sa, sa shed ba ni siya? Like a shed memo ba yung mong kwaon? Or gikan ba siya sa National Library of the Philippines, sa DOST? No? Asa man ako ni Kwaon nga data. Okay? So, kuti pa na siya, no? Kaya mangita pa ka asang agency pangitaon. Yan, sa yung muhang pangitaon. Like, pub, um, title ba sa book na yung mga input or ang author or the subject itself. Like, tourism ba ang subject or um, online learning o kanang mga ingana. If dili, if dili carry, pwede raman siya tamo so sa Google Scholar. Kaya, kato diretso na raman to. Diba? So, this is an example of an online card catalog of the National Library of the Philippines. So, this is an e-library. Dali na lang. Dali na manual. Click-click na lang ka dira and automatically you'll be able to find what you need. No? But again, 
there are some parts here that are not accessible for everyone. So if you would like to have a place where in limitless ang imuhang imo access pa jud no maski asa ra ka. So again, I suggest um Library Genesis, download ka sa ebook, full ebook pa jud na siya. Dili lang ka nang teaser lang para sa script no nga ang first few pages ra makita. Or kata kong giingon Google Scholar with the use of Sci-Hub. Okay, so no ida ko mo mo ko ano mo tudlo ninyo ani because you already know how to search in Google Scholar. So mo diretso na lang ta sa keyword searching. So it's really important class that when you search um in the search engine, so may search engine ma'am, katong kan ba kani ba? Ani sa Google po do sa kan mana ba? Anyway, input ang imuhang pangitaon noon even sa sa Google Scholar na amay na sa may babaw, di ba? Nga search mo dira. Dayon Importante ni keyword searching classes kabalo mo unsaon pag change change niyo mga keywords no I know nga you already have that initiative na ma'am pod no kay how can you come up with um good resources no as I was reading your introduction there were some that nagbasa jud no nga nami kay paghanay sa introduction because daghan mo nakitaan nga results and that's the power of you know proper keyword search kay na magoy mga times class atay butang if full if full if full type ni mo, no? Full type ni mo siya. Hindi ni mo gawas or gamay ra ang manggawas. Ilis ilisa na po ni mo. No? Hangton mo gawas na siya ang yung mohang gusto nga nga result nga ihatag ni Google Scholar. So, there are other strategies or techniques that you can use para ma-reveal to ang uban nga mga resources nga dili dili uh, dali, dali ma mahatag ni Google Scholar. Okay? So, of course, no brainer naman nga you use keywords na or main ideas of the topic like if you're if you're going to conduct a research about um productivity, uh, how the productivity of the students are affected in the online class nga setting, but naman ni modera ano the effects of online learning towards the productivity of students. So muna yung mga keywords nimo or the full title jud. If dili mo gawas ang imong gusto, kwaan kwaan na pud nimo, no? Putan ni modera productivity and online learning kay gusto ka kaning duha mo gawas di ba take note of my 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 kuan ha katong uh, borelian ako nga nga technique abutan kog end no kay para ang katong duha ang mo gawas na mo gawas nga articles that mentions productivity and also in the same article ma mention pud ang online class kung abutan ko dirag or for example mo yung ko productivity or online class na ay mga articles dira nga mugawas class nga usa ra ka article ga mention og productivity pero wala ga mention og online class niya ang sa ubos ang uba mga papers dira na ga mention both nila duha pero mostly ana separate na okay so dapat you have to be mindful of that if you want both of these keywords to come up in one article you just write and okay so mana siya or if you do not want you know ma miss out ang tanan nga details sa imong keyword search naman tay mga different borelian techniques hmm, paris ani sorry borelian borelian i i mispronounce na no, mga tek ang um, borelian no kay ganan ko yo ka di ko ka pronounce og duha ka oh, borelian techniques or borelian operator okay so na atay lain lain nga techniques other than using and or or not no na apod tay mga asterisk imo nang ilis ilisan ang mga ang mga letters sa usa ka word no like for example in the word productivity ang why dira ilisan ni mag asterisk para mas daghan pa jud no we call that one as wild card searches meaning um mas daghan pa jud ang mugawas na different articles that mentions productivity other than the current one gipakita sa imuha. Okay? So, more nang ilis-ilisa, no? Or ilisa na mo ang R with, sa productivity with um, asterisk. More yun. Okay? So, pwede po class, if one keyword doesn't work, you can change it, no? Or replace it. Like, for example, uh, there are other spellings for globalization. I can make use of S, no? So globalization or globalization with S, 
mo mo e keyword search, niba. So once you have like keywords like productivity, try to think of other words sa nga pwede to ma ilisan sa productivity or online class. Pwede man online learning, okay? Online learning, online class, para at least mas daghan pa jud kag mga articles nga makit-an. So you could make list down like synonyms of your keywords pod para ilis-ilisan ra nimo siya. Okay? So nakasabot ra class in keyword search. Hello. No apa mo guys. Ilom lagi kay mo ron no. Paning sink in nga first day na to ron sa class. Uy, na apa mo? Kasabot ra mo sa kong dimension? Yes, dam. Ah, okay. Buhay pa di ay. Sige. So, hata kong example din na itong i-testing nito sa Google Scholar. Unya. Okay, so, for example, ani, oh, mo gamit gitag and, kato kong giingon kanina, di ba, class, no? Productivity and learning, uh, online learning or online class. So, if you're going to make use of and as a uh, in your search in your keyword search sa Google Scholar no dira mag search ka. If you're going to make use of that, it means that you're going to combine different concepts and makita na siya in one document. Okay? Like for example, globalization and Chinese are in different columns but they can be uh, are different concepts but they can be presented into in in one document no or sa result Maggamit ka or kung ginahan ka mag-combine ng similar concepts like um, productivity and online class or online learning. So, if wala yung mag nga result nga nag nagkuyog ang productivity and online class, at least naiuban nga results nga mag nga nag-combine ang productivity o online learning. So, pwede na siya, no? Or for example, oh, um, Chinese propaganda. Ya, gamay ra ang ninggawas. Oh, Chinese or China propaganda. Oh, para at least daghan ang results magawas niya kay. If, if one term does not work, you add another one nga similar ana nga term para mas daghan pa ang results nga magawas. Kung naa kay kuan nga dili gusto ma-appeal, like for example, um, sa man ha, Mm. Ah, okay, kanina lang. Um mabutang ka og not na if na kay mga concepts nga dinhi mo gusto. Like for example, uh, Chinese corporations not enterprises. No kay wasin pag-click nimo og, og corporations or companies, ma-appeal pa enterprises niya. Di ka gusto mo appeal to siya. So, Chinese corporations or companies not enterprises. Okay, para pag gawa sa result class, walay labot ang enterprises nga mo gawa sa results sa muhang keyword search. Okay? Pinapulit tayo mga additional pa jud nga bu uh, buillion nga koan nga techniques no? on or operators para mas daghan pa jud ang mo gawa sa inyuhang uh, search uh, search uh, results, no? Such as asterisk. Ang asterisk is for wild card. So, for example, I'm going to search for the word exact. Nga, gamay ra ang linggawas nga results sa word nga exact. I'm just going to replace the letter X with an asterisk para mag wild card search siya and mugawas, no? Daghag web pages, daghag mga articles nga mugawas no nga related to the word that i am searching okay okay next is plus no use the plus um sign to include items that are usually ignored so if you feel that you would like to elaborate on your keyword search then you can add plus no balag walay and example no pwede na pod plus yung mga ibutang so kaning use um, quotation marks, like for example, uh, globalization in Chinese corporations. Globalization in Chinese corporation. Quotation mark should. 
meaning katong exact word nga Chinese uh, a globalization in Chinese corporation katong exact word mao to i-search niya and ay mga articles nga mugawas nga naa to siyang exact phrase katong exact sentence or exact phrase nga globalization in Chinese corporation like mugawas jud to siya no verbatim okay ang kaning last is insert insert word or phrase no so ang insert word or phrase class kaning naa sa parenthesis insert word or phrase parenthesis kaning use in a parenthesis ang phrase ninyo is to contain a group of words pwede siya i-include ang kaning imong gagamit kag or no like combinations of china or chinese example ani class is kani oh globalization so nagamit siya asterisk no kay para daghan ang mugawas nga results that mentions globalization so yang gilisan ang z og asterisk so ni mugawas na ang result that mention of globalization either z or s ang spelling niya no and then daghan pa jud kaayog mga results pud manggawas nga naapod ang chinese or china in the article so diri gi, gi enclose in a parenthesis sa diri gi enclose in a parenthesis ang gibutang chinese or china to indicate nga ang i-search ni google kay dapat na ay article nga mention of globalization o nya ga mention pud siya og chinese or kung wala chinese nga kuyog sa globalization at least na ay ito, oh, China na lang, no? In case. Or kung wala ay article nga gamention o China with globalization, so, kanina lang, at least na ang Chinese, no? Basta na ay mga articles gamention o Chinese with globalization. And, no? So, dapat na apod na sa and, and, and company or corporation or firm. So, gibutangan siya asterisk para daghan pa siyod og mga search results nga mugawas. Tagi enclose sa parenthesis class kay these are different kan mano. Uh, different keywords or terminologies no for uh, for your search results. Ya tong i-testing para mas makasabot ta. lang ha Ye yeah, try na to. Hmm, saman ang ako ang gusto i-search ha. Ah okay, kani kay galisod ko ani pag-una. Hmm, for example, I want to search for community-based tourism. Kanya dili mo kay daghan ang mugawas nga results, no? Gusto ko daghan pa siya kung makita. Ay, nag-mention about community-based tourism. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add more words. Like, kung ginahan ko na pa di sustainability, mabutan ko and oh, sustainable, sorry. Sustainable and community-based tourism. Kung gusto ko nga mas may elaborate sa community based tourism mga gamension of sustainability. Search na ko na sustainable community based tourism. So daghan ang manggawas. For example, gusto ko ibutang diri, wala ibutang ha. Tourism development. So i-address po na ko. Community based tourism development. Dayon. Kasi kaya naan naman siya diritanan. I-try ko nun ako. Og. Community base. No, may other words. Other terms ta ni. Sustainable tourism daw. Ito ko glain nga mas mas lisod. Ay, okay. Mice na lang. Kanina lang. I feel na ko mas koan siya. Okay, maestorism. 
O niya, vague man kayo siya no. So, I want my tourism plus tourism development. Kaya gusto ko nga naapoy article na mentioned about my tourism or events tourism plus pag-develop ana as a tourism destination. So, i-click na ko na. Okay. Or pwede ra po, ilisan na ko ang plus og and. No, parehas, rama na silang duha. Kung gusto ko kaning duha, mo gawa sa results. If gusto ko wala ang tourism development, butan ko dirag not tourism development. Only my tourism only. Or my tourism gusto ko na ay attractions. Ha, mention ang attractions. So, add ko og plus. Okay. And then, naana diri. No? My tourism, my attractions. So, at least in one article na mention ang my tourism and attractions in one article. Okay. Para man na na kung nakagusto i-exclude, but ang kag not. O, atong it-testing my tourism. Ito na ito dira. Events. Tourism. Or um, meetings. Or conventions. Oh, so, kani siya class. Ubutang ganitag parenthesis niya. Mag-or ganita. So, katuha kung gusto ka, katunduha ka book terms like my tourism and attractions, makita siya, katunduha ka terms in one article. So, you put and or plus. Kung ginahan ka nga alternative lang, like regardless kung events ang mugawas or meetings or conventions, like bahalag dili mugawas ni silang tulo, basta any of the three mugawas sila sa usaka article, then you make use of or. So, events, tourism, or meetings or conventions. So, kung asa nilang tulo ang mugawa sa search box, that will do. So, mo na siya if you're going to use or. And then, ibutan na ni mo siya in a parenthesis kaya itong daghan man siya ng terminologies or keywords. So, search na to siya. So, naay uban class, if, oh, pars ani, no? Events or meetings or conventions to resem. So, since nagamit ng taog or, O dili and, di ba lahat itong kanina no, kaya nagbutan ko itong my tourism and attractions. So, in one article, mabasahan ni mo ang my o ang attractions nga keywords. Makita ni mo siya sa usaka article. Kani kay tungod din gamit man ta og or class. So, either of the three ra ang mugawa sa usaka article. Basta na alang ang tourism and any of the three. So, na adiri no, sa usaka article, wala ang meetings, wala ang conventions, pero ang naa is ang events. Diba? On this on this part, lahi po siya, no? Naa ang events, naa ang meetings, pero walay conventions. Kaya ba sa'yo mong ibutan diri? Oh, events or meetings or conventions. So, any of the three akong expected nga magawas. Balag di sila matingob sa Osaka article. Okay, so muna siya kung magamit kag or. Okay, nakasabot ra class. Hello? Nakasabot na. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And then, itry ko no na to ug mag kuanta. Ayaw lang, kanilang. Okay. Mag wild card search. So, ilisan ni mo ang one um, letter sa Osaka word. And then, atong ilisan og and. Okay, para silang tulo na ah, sa Osaka article. So, atong gibuhat is mag wildcard search ta, magbutang tag asterisk, and then atong gilisan o and para kaning tulo ang events, meetings, o conventions ma um, present sa Osaka article. Kaya gusto ko nga makabasa ko article nga naani silang tulo. Okay. So, as you can see, na-adjud silang tulo, di ba? Take for example this one. No, kani, wala lang should, no? Now, take for example this one, no? Events, convention, and meetings, and even the tourism keywords are present in one article, and you can read it here. 
because he make use of and and naatay mga asterisk dira so the more nga daghan ang mga search results nga manggawa so press ani pud okay okay so mo na siya class oh another keyword search nga we haven't tried is ang quotation mark so kani siya parenthesis is to enclose several keywords diba so kay tulo man ka keywords ato siyang parenthesis let's try kuno exact jud the verbatim nga naa jud ni sila tulo Events. Ay, sorry. Ano? Colon. Ah, nag-meeting na mi events and it's a mo, mo, message ako nga malate ko sa meeting. Okay, dali na to class ha kay na ako yung meeting events and meetings and oh, events and meetings ako basin mo kuan pa siya na meetings tourism. Okay, let's try to see if mugawa siya. Okay, so since we make use of verbatim so, na ano yung events and meetings tourism. So, mag-quest ng exact phrase na events and meetings tourism in an article. But sadly, very few lang. So, we can make use of wildcard in hopes na daghan o ubay-ubay. Ano ka ba sila makonfuse si Google, no? Ubay-ubay ang search results na to. Okay. Sige. Oh, wala. No? So, hindi siya mag-work. Hindi siya foolproof, Jude. So, na, at least ay usa, but it's not in our own language, no? So, oh, sorry. For to I was looking at the, koan, the author's day. So, muna ni siya class, no? Na open, but it's not in our own language, so first, ani, he translate siya into English, there is a babo. Similar yung mani sila ndo, ha? Oh, same author and then year publish. Same title, actually. Layo lang siya on, kuan. Layo siya og language. So, more na siya pag keyword search class, lisa lisa na you know, you make use of the Boolean, uh, Boolean operators. Um, If you forgot to, there are just examples here, no? Mani siya. And you can even make use of the examples na kong gihatag just now. Okay, so I I wish I could elaborate more, no? And we can do further pajod nga practice, but I'll just leave the the practice to you. Kay naapa ko yung meeting ng alas 4 na nawag na sila, no? So you try to practice ka rin, no? You make use of the alien operators. And then my task for you this afternoon is that Using Boolean operators, hinahinay na mo og search og mga related literature or related articles sa inyuhang research ha. Dili lang nga ka ng kuan, random rano. For example, sa study abi ni, ni Ponsika nga about productivity and then online learning. no So, sugod so karun kamutan na you try to search online in Google Scholar different research articles. And then you can make use of Boolean operators para maghinahinay na mo compile ha mangita mo mga different um, research articles inyuhan na siyang ko ano no inyuhan na siyang basahon if pwede niyo magamit sa inyong study if mo fit ba siya sa inyong study pod and then you compile them into a separate document and then do not forget akong ginaingon sa inyo ha do not forget to provide a reference list mao ni siya kung giingon di ba APA format Every time that you search something online, every time that you get an article or a phrase or a paragraph from a journal article or a re no, sorry, research journal or a research article, you have to cite the author and you have to provide reference list. No, so compile, compile mo, and then I kalimut provide a separate reference list. 
para at least din mo magtagba og pangita sa inyong mga sources. Same as what you did in writing your introduction. Okay? So nakasabot um STEM students Kasabot ra tanan. Yes, ma'am. Nami mga pangutana. Hello, usara ang nagsabot. Mug ulo ulo uy, usa na taka semester na kuyog. So, Tanong may mga additional questions or clarifications with our session this afternoon. Hinahinay na mo o kuan basa-basa, compile para at least kung mag-write shop ta, na na mo yung mga review-related literature nga na, na complete no or na collect. Maski mga tagtulo or upat at least na adyo no kaysa wala. Hinahinay na compile ba? Wala na mga pangutana. Last call. STEM students. Wala na naman. Okay, siya. Kano'y ang sigig sabat? Asa din ni ang uban? Nangatulog na ni sila. Hello. Hello, si Kano'y rin. Asa din ang uban? Okay, so... Leaders, were you able to keep your chapter one nga paper with you? Wala to ninyo gikoan. Narja po may hawid ato. Did you make the corrections already? Kindly unmute your microphone and say okay if na. Um. Sa inyo hapon si ka okay na to in chapter one. Kaya para magandam na ta for chapter two. Yes, ma'am. Okay. How about for the others? Kay Garabato, Aguanta, uh, Levares, Kanoy. Ito ba ito? Makalimut ako sa mga pangalan sa leaders. Or were you able to work on your corrections sa chapter 1 in preparation for chapter 2? Yes, da. Okay, very good. Yes, ma'am. Very yes, good. Ma okay. So, very good, everyone. So, um... Mora man na siya for now, this afternoon. Sa so, amat-amat lang siya ta, ha. Ang proper siya na to nga right shop next week. And then, hinahina na ito compile. Di ko sure gani if mahuman siya na to tanan within um, Tuesday ang right shop, no? Basin maka part 2 right shop pa ta. In kaso taas kaayo ang RRL o ang review related literature. So, musumpay na lang ta next week, Friday pod for the conceptual framework. Okay? So that is it for now. Since you don't have any questions anymore, our session actually today is re really quite simple, Rajid, no? Pero I do hope it would help you as well in searching for resources online. On Friday, I will be teaching you citations na po, no? How to cite properly. Um, kabalo naman mo, Anna, no? Kabalo po mas reference list, pero at least mutudlo po ko sa MLA Og Chicago para daghan po mugma like additional knowledge po sa inyo ha. Okay, so before we will end, let us pray first in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Saint Rita, pray for us in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, so thank you so much, everyone. Goodbye and see you on Friday. Bye, Dam. Thank you, Dam. Bye, everyone. Bye, Dam. Thank you, Dam. Thank you, Dam. Bye, Dam. Bye, students.